According to LG, smartphones have become boring, giving consumers very little elements of surprise lately. This main argument is what inspired the company to reinvent its approach to smartphones, and the first piece of that puzzle comes in a very unfamiliar form. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, reporting from MWC in Barcelona, and this is our hands-on of the LG G5, brought to you by Dbrand. At a time when most competitors are reiterating what they did last year, this LG G5 is a dramatic evolution to the smartphone we knew. We say evolution instead of change because most of the elements of what made LG's G lineup are still here. They're just packed in a different package. The plastic and leather touches of the G4 have taken a few leaps forward with this G5, as this is not just your average metallic smartphone. Notice the lack of antenna lines all around? That's because the company has come up with a new treatment that allows for antennas to work below it. Oddly, that blend doesn't really feel cool to the touch as with most metallic phones, but that doesn't really change the fact that this phone is gorgeous at a glance. From the inner chamfers at the back to the gentle curves all around and the curved details at the top, this phone looks a lot better in the hand than what you've seen in leaks in the previous days. That's not the only change though. LG did a good job at the emphasizing the specs in the presentation. Yes, the Snapdragon 820 is here along with 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of expandable storage via an extended SIM tray, and also making the cut is Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 via USB Type-C. The 5.3-inch Quad HD display is still IPS, but now allows for an always-on mode that LG claims to be superior to AMOLED, and this display can go as bright as 900 nits for when you're out in direct sunlight. That being said, most of these specifications weren't really mentioned in the presentation as the company instead spent more time focusing on how different this phone is. They called it modular because of the cool slot down below, which still doesn't have a name by the way. Press the button on the side and you're quickly taken to the replaceable battery and this slot can later be extended by other features like the Cam Plus camera grip, which we'll talk about in a separate video. Yes, the phone will turn off when you do this, but uh, so did every previous LG phone whenever you remove the battery anyways. And speaking of cameras, there are two primary ones here, both with separate sensors. One is a standard 16 megapixel shooter with a 1.8 aperture and 75 degrees of field of view, which is what you'll see in an average camera. While the other is an ultra wide angle 8 megapixel shooter with 135 degrees of field of view. The company explained how the human eye's field of view is only of 128 degrees, making this feature awesome since you can't really zoom out of subjects and instead have to step back, so this can really come in handy in areas where you really cannot step back because you'll just lose the purpose of a shot. Both cameras can work together to stitch a photo that blends both elements or gives you the option of two different shots that give you two different perspectives of the same area. Aside from that, the software is Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow running under LG's new UI, which still lacks cohesion here and there, and where the app tray is now gone, as LG claims that it will help in avoiding confusion, though we do know this will be a controversial change. Still folks, there is so much to talk about this LG G5. Seriously, this is a very different animal to what we've seen before. So much so that there are different videos that we are preparing just to talk about the different features and LG's new friends, as they're calling the accessories, that also complement the G5. So stay tuned for these videos coming very soon. Pocketnow's MWC 2016 coverage is made possible by Dbrand, manufacturer of precision-cut vinyl skins for smartphones, tablets, laptops, gaming consoles, and more. If you're looking to customize the appearance of your device and add a bit of protection and grip, check out dbrand.com MWC or visit the link in the description below. We've got more coverage coming, folks, so make sure you follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera, and you can now also catch these videos on Vessel at Vessel.com slash Pocket Now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We've got more coverage coming soon.